Morning guys, Mike here from EasyCigarRoller.com. Um, I've had some questions with people asking me if this machine can roll the same size cigar every time or make like three, four, five, a dozen of them in a row. And of course the answer is yes, it's designed to do that. That's one of its specialties. Uh, like Just like the lever room machine, it will roll the same size as long as you put the same amount of tobacco in there. So today I thought I would roll four cigars in a row and show you that that is what it can do. So the blend, um, <clears throat> blend I'm going to be using is a, a kind of a knockoff of a Boulevard Corona. Um, it's a one Ligero, one Seiko, and two Seikos and two Velardes. So I'm looking for a shorter cigar than what they make. So I'm going to use half of the blend and try to come up with something about five and a half by 52. So it's it's a, it's the same process on all of them. Uh, take your tube. Take your next one. Pull out this crazy vein that nobody likes. But one interesting thing about the vein, if you do want to make like a long head or ash on your cigar, leave some vein in. It will help that support that end. Kind of a little trick you can do. Um, and then I take this tube it up. I know the size of my hand is about a five and a half. So I'll put this in here. Um, and I'm making the head of my cigar a little thicker. Trimming that down. Can't stand these veins. I don't like veins. I'll pull them out. I like to put this up a little higher to get off of that tip of the cigar. Again, some people claim that that has a funny taste, but I don't think so. Turn that over. Now this will just depend on the size of the tobacco leaves. If they're all the same, then all the cigars will come out the same. If they're not, it's pretty hard to make that happen. I'm using a Nicaraguan binder. Try to go as fast as I can to keep this video as short as possible. And I use this flexible roll product versus the rock press. I happen to like it better. It pulls them nice and tight. And again, it does adjust. It's designed to adjust to the uh, amount of tobacco. If you like it a little looser of a smoke, you can adjust that also by not drawing down on, on it so hard. Um, you can't check your drawer, as I showed you before, you can get some idea of what the drawer is like, but that's one. Now this piece is a little smaller, so. I do like the Boulevard, so they're kind of my, one of my favorites. Scars. You don't see much of them around anymore. I'm rushing through to try to again shorten the video, but you'll see they'll all come out to be reasonably close to the same size. The cigar mold does make them all the same size, but they may not be all the same density. 
they may all look the same, but they can smoke different. This machine kind of adjusts to the density so that they all have the same draw on them. If you got a fluffy cigar with less density, it's going to have a different draw versus one that's really compacted. So this eliminates that by doing that. You can cut them off if you want to cut them off first. Try to get a measurement. Again, as I've said before, I don't try to do much editing in this because this is really the way that you're going to end up doing it. You know, you can make I could make 20 cigars and only show you one if I if I thought that was what, what was going to happen in your your kitchen or uh, wherever it is you make you know your all your cigars. But that's not what happens. What happens is what you see here. It's it's a little bit of finesse. Um, some basic you know, knowledge that, or practice over time. And each one will come out the same way. You gotta pick through your stock a little bit and maybe if you've got one without a without a frog's legs on it, you, you may want to not use that one if you're trying to make them all the same. You may want to save that one for another uh, another cigar. Something trying to make a little smaller or a little bigger and stick that one in as a double. But if you're trying to make them all the same, try to pick all the leaves that are similar in size and you'll come up with that. That's not a good system of the machine. The professionals have well, the rollers for big cigar companies have all their leaves laid out for them. They're all the same. That's how every one of their cigars comes out to be. Uh, the same. It, they had a someone go through it all and already have, if they're going to roll a 50 cigars out of one blend or 100 cigars, they've got 100 leaves that are all the same size. Each leaf that they're going to roll into that cigar is exactly, some of them even weigh them to make sure that they're getting the same weight. And that roller is expected to roll so many cigars out of the bunch that he gets and then when they put them into the cigar mold that is what makes them all the same size so if you're doing that then you'll have all that are the same if you're not you'll have different sizes it's just the fact that it's the way it works. Nothing you can do about it. We'll measure these when I'm done. We'll see if they're all reasonably close to a, to a 40, 52, 54 ring gauge. And I guess if you're that hung up on it, if you want to smoke a, if you're that hung up on it, then maybe this isn't the way to go. Maybe you ought to just buy them so that you know you're getting a 52 or 54 or 60. I'm just trying to make some nice cigars that I enjoy smoking, enjoy giving out to my friends. Something that looks good is in a is in a ratty piece of stick that's all over the place. Has a nice look, has a good smooth wrapper on it, feels good all the way through and smokes good. What else are we looking for? So that one, <coughs> excuse me. That one came out a little different, so I'll just deal with it. And with no editing, 
unless you're going to edit yourself at home, this is what you're going to do. And I don't think we want to edit ourselves at home. Cut that end off to make sure that you know that's the end, that's the butt of the cigar. And that's how easy it is to roll some cigars that are all the same size and will be about the same length. We'll come back later and put a, a wrap around them. I have been do, known to do right from there, let them sit in there for a few minutes or just, just put the binder right on and then roll them in the flexo roll. And they come out really nice that way. It kind of saves you time to do the whole process. You bunch it, you put the binder on it, you put the wrapper on it all at once, let them sit in here for a day or two, and you're done. So there you go. So I'll show you later that they're all the same size. Thanks. Bye. Hi guys, Mike here. I'm back. Um, just going to finish up these four that we rolled. So that, and you can see by the blanks, the, they're all pretty much the same size. So I'm going to finish one up. No sense doing all four of them on the video. I'll just keep it a little short of my finishing one. I'm going to make some torpedoes out of them. I like to put this end piece on first. Um, like, kind of like a cap, double cap type thing. Uh, I just put it on first. I just seem to like it better. I really have no reason why. Um, that and then put this on. You can see this. What I've done is was, this is a Nicaraguan uh, wrapper. These veins down the end were pretty thick, so I just cut them out. Um, you won't notice it in the cigar. You won't notice it anywhere. But I just don't like them. And I've already pre-stretched it on here, so it is pretty tight. You do have to pick this end up and keep it going. Not a big deal. Keep pulling this tight. Whistling this up, like I said in one of the other videos, it kind of finished up like a whistling pig. Um, I still tuck that underneath there, that'll stay. And then from there, I do go back into the press for a little bit. Um, you see me do the bunching so that the press is the same as this. Um, just roll it tight, pull a drawer, I'll do it. I'll tell you one of the other things some people don't like to tape so you can do the same with an elastic band maybe it's even a little better if you think about it maybe it gives a little more compression but I don't see the difference at the end result I just put a band, elastic band on it and it'll stay like that it'll sit there Batteries went dead, sorry. Um, but that's all there is to it. You can roll, roll, roll four, five, six, ten, hundred, 100, same size. Using this product, it will adjust to a little bit of, if you have a little bit of variation. The density of them all will be the same, so they should all smoke the same. Where again, if you use the uh, regular cigar press, if your density's not, if your density's different, your drawer is going to be different. This kind of corrects that. So 
I'm going to finish up the others off a of video. Thank you very much.